They've met several times in recent months, but always on the sidelines of international summits. This time, Italian leader Giorgia Maloney is on an official visit to the Elysee Palace. On the agenda, the application of a bilateral cooperation treaty between Paris and Rome signed by Maloney's predecessor and their joint support of Ukraine, emphasized by Emmanuel Macron. I am pleased to announce, along with my Italian colleague Giorgia Maloney, that the French-Italian SAMPT air defense system is now deployed and operational in Ukraine, where it is protecting key installations and lives. The visit is above all an attempt to repair the country's ties, frayed by a series of disagreements over immigration. The last run-in at the start of May saw Italy's foreign affairs minister cancel a visit to Paris, after France's interior minister said Georgia Maloney's government was incapable of resolving migration problems. The far-right Maloney made her stance clear just several weeks after coming to power, when in November she refused to allow a migrant ship carrying 230 people to dock in Italy. France accepted the ship, but retaliated by suspending plans to welcome 3,500 migrants from Italy, an attitude criticized at the time by Maloney, who's calling for a more even distribution of refugees throughout Europe. I've been very struck by the French government's aggressive reaction. Since the start of this year, Italy has received on its national territory almost 90,000 migrants. Earlier this month, European countries agreed on a strict reform of their asylum laws, including fines for countries that refuse to host asylum seekers.